I want to do this for people who are not necessarily the best at making coins and they don't have the confidence to get in here and get active in the market. So we're going to go ahead and start with a lower and then we're going to move up. So off the rip, something that you want to start with something that has some type of value to the game, you know, like Super Bowl has a lot of value right now. If you didn't know right now, Patrick Mahomes has a weird set going on where you could put in, you know, limited time players. So we're going to go ahead and look at the Super Bowl uh, promo and kind of snipe through the cards and make some profit there. So because people are potentially building these cards, you know, doing rerolls and stuff like that, and they'll be selling quick. So we'll be able to make an easy profit fairly quickly. So we're going to start off with the 86 to 87s. We're going to look at the newest. The newest is looking like. 8,000. Now, when you see cars that's getting posted up newest consistently, like this one's getting posted for 8,100, 8,200, that means these cars are selling at that price on the time remaining page. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to buy now. And y'all seen that 6,300 sold already. I want to go newest one more time. Yeah, you see, he sold already. And I wanted to see if we could see all the cars newest. We can. And quite frankly, you can buy these cars at 6,000, put them up at 8,000. And after taxes, you get back 7,200, you make a 1,200 coin profit. That's cool. You know, that's not bad for somebody getting started, but we're going to go to newest real quick. And then we're going to go through and find another filter because we already understand that we could put these cars up for about 8,000. And what we're going to do is going to hit this buy now. Okay, cool. None of them is, is there. We're going to go newest again and go to another filter. We're going to go to the next up filter will be 88 through 89. And we want to see exactly what the price is going for for these. Now, these are that 21K. We're going to look newest and see what people are posting them for. And we see some 23s, 22s. So maybe about like 20, 24K. That's an accident. I didn't mean to do that. And then we're going to go back to the uh, 89s. Now, the reason why you want to go and do this is because people are building these sets. People are looking for these cars. Now, in this sense, we can look at buy now because we're going to be buying the cheapest car. And we're going to go ahead and go to 86 to 87. When you guys are new to the game, you know, you, you, you fresh on sniping, go ahead and just use two filters. Just use two filters for a short amount of time. And then you'll learn the prices and you'll understand that it is a 10% tax. So you got to make sure you're buying cards with a little bit of room so you can make coins. So if I buy this card at 20K and I want to put them up at 23K, I won't be able to make no profit because after EA takes a tax out on 23K, I'm only going to get back like I think it's like 2300 coins, whatever. It's like 21 something. So it's not that much profit there. So that's just the gist of like a, a low filter. We're going to go ahead and bag this one right here. Jack stole 5100 coins. Somebody else bagged it. I was late to it. It's OK. That's going to happen with sniping. But you guys can see that I'm explaining this to you and we find his snipes. We could have put him on for 8000 get back 7,200. I think that would be like a 2,100 coin profit. And that's not terrible if you don't have a lot of coins. So you guys can see the concept works and it's just going to take some time to find some cars. But we want to move on to something else, man. We want to move on to some more consistent snipes. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go to the 90 through 91s. It's a little bit more consistent as far as people are buying this for training values. And we're going to talk about training values as well, because training values is very important to understanding what cards buy and sell for, right? So when you're looking at this as a whole in a 90 through 91s, you seeing what the what the market is really showing you right you don't we don't know when how these cards get on here you know this is a completely random so we have to go deeper into the filter so if you want to go deeper you could start by just going position by position that's probably the quickest way to get deep into the filter and you can see that this 90 right here mark brunel is going for 24 850 the next cards and you can just look at it by promo the next promo card in this promo is randall coming cunningham at 32k so off the rip this is a good buy because you could put this man up for 32k and then after the taxes hit you still gonna make a profit but we, we we learning right now so i'm not gonna buy that and we're just gonna talk about the price points so we see that the cheapest jacoby percent is 29k we also see ryan fitzpatrick at 30k so now we assuming that the qbs 90 through 91s or the 90s i should say are going for about 30k so for us to solidify this price you need to do a couple things you can either solidify this price by looking at another filter which is the running back filter or you can solidify this price 
by seeing cars sell at that price. So it just depends on how you want to look at it. So we could see that J Jacoby Brissett is gone already. So that solidifies that, okay, if I have a 90 overall at 30K, it's going to sell pretty quickly. So now we know, all right, we, we, we can make some shape if we find a card that we could post for 30K and then uh, we find him cheap enough to have some profit in it. So with that being said, that's how you find it. We're going to go right to this Mike Dicker. We're going to find us a nice little banger real quick. And then we're going to go through the price points. I really don't check prices when I'm sniping cards consistently like 90 through 91s because some of these don't hold like crazy values, but some of them do. So checking prices right now, we see that his median price is 32K, which means that that is what when people are buying him low, people buy him high and the middle price is 32K. So most people do put it up at the medium. I like to go over the medium because worst case scenario, if we put them up at medium, we kind of like losing some coins, right? So we're gonna go ahead and throw this man up at 34K because I like that 34K is only 2K over value. If somebody needs this card, they're gonna go ahead and buy this joint and try to make them some profit. So now we're gonna go ahead and go over our profit, right? So we're gonna take a nice 34,000 coins right here, you guys see that? And we're gonna subtract 3,400, right? And when you subtract 3,400, the reason why I'm subtracting 3,400 is that's because the, that's the taxes. That's the 10% tax that EA gonna take out. That's how much you're gonna get back when you sell this car. So then we're gonna go ahead and subtract 24,850 because that's how much we paid. Boom, we just made 5,700 coins just like that, that fast. And it didn't take too much understanding because at the end of the day, I just went off of knowing the QB price is 29k or 30k and then i just went ahead and posted that card for over his median value so as you consistently sniping over and over and over again you're gonna see that all these cards have different median values but most of this is going off of the training values and training values is a whole nother ball game because training values is what people are creating for a card's value right so the market is essentially based off of the training values. There is some cars nowadays that do hold more values than other, whether it's in sets or whether it's just an insane car like a Julius Peppers or it has good abilities, right? But nowadays, most cars are selling at training values if they have no high value to the game. When people speak on training values, they speak on what's the lowest people are willing to let this car sit on the auction block for to get the best training value. So with that being said is that these 90s, if I'm not mistaken, quick sell for, I don't wanna say, hold on, let me let me, let me me do the math. Let me make sure I'm right, cause I don't wanna give y'all the wrong quick sell numbers. And then y'all be like, no, hell no, it quick sell for this. 90s quick sell for 10,000, that's what I was thinking. So for you to understand the, the training value for these cards is you take how much the card is worth and divide it by its training value and then you'll get it, right? So his quick sell value, this is what I'm saying, training value. So right here, somebody just posted this Mike Dicker, but we ain't tripping off of that because we know his median is 32. So he's already below his median. So somebody gonna pick this up because it's decent training values. And we also see that for tight end, he's the cheapest card on the block. Anytime you got a card that's the cheapest card on the block, if it's yours, you happy because you know it's gonna sell quick if you priced it right and you still got profit. But if it's on the cheapest card on the block, you know it's gonna sell quickly anyway, right? With that being said, we're talking about training value. So with this car, Mike Dickett, if you bought him and you wanted to buy some cheap, quote unquote, cheap trainer or just training in general, you'd be paying 2.7 coins per training because when you quick sell this car, you spend 27K on it and you get 10,000 uh, training back. So I know that sounds complicated, but at the end of the day, you just try, take the number that you spend on the car and you divide it by its training value and that's how much you'll get for how much you're spending on training, right? So we're gonna go ahead and move up to 94 through 95 because I think this is just, a, a, actually we're gonna go to 92 to 93. So I think 92 to 93 is a good space to start if you got like a million coins, 500K, you can make a decent amount of coins. We're gonna move over to programs because programs is, for me, I like programs um, because you get to pick whatever program you like. You get to pick whatever program you feel like is flying in the game. So 
right now it's the same thing as sniping through position by position right you just seeing a lot more cards and i don't suggest you start with this i suggest you start with position by position or even start with one specific promo like maybe legend promo and go all offense all defense because it'll allow you to be very uh, uh i would say you'll know all the prices in that specific promo and once you understand all the prices in that specific promo you can use the things that you learned and move it over to the next promo and then you can go position by position right or whatever you want to do so let's just look at this by now <clears throat> we've seen that 57 sale which is cool it is what it is we missed it a little bit but it wasn't really nothing we can get out of here what are we gonna do put them up for 60 66k you're gonna make 3k right 67k i should say so then i like to do legends aka and then i like to come down to redux and then i like to go to team of the week and these are some of my favorite filters to look at because i feel like these cars are flying out of packs the most reduxes are coming out of training varieties team of the weeks people are dumping because they don't care about those cards and then we also try to look at the aka new class whenever a new promo comes in we try to snipe new promos because people are not getting the cards that they want and then they dump the other cards so that's why we try to snipe new promos but i really think starting with a filter this high 92 to 93 you need to understand what are the training values for the cars first so once you understand what the training values for the cars are and what people are willing to pay for the cards then you can go ahead and start maneuvering through the filter i like to buy if i don't know a filter i like to buy with the training values but if you do know a filter you know some cars sell for 80k when they're really only worth 40k and you know some cars sell for 60k when they worth 70k you know what i'm saying so it's like you really understand filters when you go through them quite a bit so that's why when people say what's the best sniping filter the best sniping filter is the filter that you know because at the end of the day i am very good at sniping 92 to 93s because this is the filter that i enjoy sniping but if i snipe something else i wouldn't be good at it because it's something that i don't know all the prices in it's something that i'm not good sniping in and quite frankly somebody who has been in this filter knows the price better than i do and they can buy and sell cards better than i can right so with that being said if you guys are looking for the best filter you have to create the best filter for yourself and now we're going to get into a nice little session i've been talking for a minute i've been kind of giving you guys some sauce so i'm gonna go ahead and talk my way through what i'm looking at why am i buying it why i wouldn't be buying it but we're gonna go ahead and take a sip of this you know what i'm saying a nice little pink joint mm, mm, mm. boy that tastes good right so we're gonna start with the um aka now if you look at the aka prices right aka is always over training values even if they're at training values they're going to be over training values because you really can't get these players out of packs there isn't like you can't get aka players out of pack but it's the new class players right the old aka players you really can't get them out of packs as much as you can get some of the other players so these are going to be at a fairly good price even when it's at training value right so you got to understand that too like certain cards are going to be a little bit overpriced and certain cards are going to be a little bit underpriced depending on availability of how you can get them how fast people are getting them, and where you can get them right so man <clears throat> i'm doing a lot of talking but we're gonna go ahead and rip through these coins we're gonna look at the reduxes i really this is probably the reduxes i feel like you find the most bangers um not the most consistent but you do find the cars that have kind of like the biggest margins. I would say 92 to 93 filter is probably like a, every card you could probably expect maybe 10 to 15 K unless you're like really, you know, reaching, not reaching, but buying like, I don't know, like this Lamar Jackson, you could potentially sell him at like 120 and it'll be kind of like a 10. Let me see. Now this is checking. I, could, I know he'll sell for 120. But I just want to see how many it was available. And yeah, he'll sell for 120. This one was posted four minutes ago at 115. There's only four more on the block. And the next one is 130. Easily a 120 card, man. Especially when people are buying training. You got to understand that people are spending a decent amount of coins on training. So they are over buying. So in a sense like that, you know, like, all right, if you confident in a price just like these, I know Lamar Jackson to sell at that 120 because these sell at 120. And these are old cards. And Lamar Jackson is the same way. You know, but we're gonna go ahead and try to find us a nice little banger. I'm kind of iffy on the legends, um, just because the, the legends, their prices fluctuate so much. It's just, 
back and forth back and forth back and forth they do have really good values there is like really good ways to make coins with the legends but a lot of times you sit on those cards sometimes so like if you buy the wrong car you might be sitting on them for a couple days you know so you just got to be careful and that's understanding your filter that's understanding what filter you're sniping in you feel me because other filters you don't sit on cards you know 94 to 95 i really don't sit on a card if i'm sniping in that filter but at the same time it's very rare to find like a nice 15 20k snipe because those cars are very accessible not accessible but everybody has those cars on their team so when you when you're looking at those cars people see value in those cars whereas like a 93 a 92 a lot of people might not see value in those cars no more you feel me so like you got to understand that too and even with like reduxes right so reduxes price will increase once trainer varieties exit for their little reset whatever that is you know what i'm saying whenever ea decides oh we're gonna pull them out they will reset and then let's look at this one right here let's see um i don't know how fast he sells i don't sell these harvest cards harvest cards do move quickly uh, i will say that they do move quickly but i don't really find a lot of the snipes like majority of the time i just look at those just in case because it's all 93s so you know you can easily get not now mercedes lewis slow seller you're not gonna sell him for 120 only somebody like lamar jackson you're gonna be able to sell him for 120. just like you gotta understand that some of these names this 50k this is an easy banger right here you know we're gonna go ahead we see these selling constantly at 70k we see these selling constantly and, and it's below training values because i think 92's quick sell for i don't even remember all our quick sale numbers i ain't even gonna sit here and say it but you can see he sold at his median is 67. four minutes ago he sold at 68 and then right when i bought this one somebody bought him at 69. you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna throw him up at a cool 70 which i still feel like is a little underpriced but we're gonna get what 63k back that's 13k profit just that fast i mean not even just that fast because it hasn't been that fast but you could probably throw him up for like 75 but we're just gonna go ahead and, and get the quick sale you know like and let me see this lashon mccoy i was just telling y'all about these like at a cool little seven yeah see people cool little 74k would have been decent it would have been only like a six seven k profit but these cars don't be flying out of packs like that so it, it, it's kind of worth if you got the coins it's kind of worth taking that six and seven k right here pretty close to below training values pretty close to at training values it's kind of like a mix oj howard is not one of the desirable reduxes but you really if you was buying training i would say okay go ahead and snag that if you're buying a lot of training but for a snipe you maybe could put him up for 109 and he may sell after two to three posts but you don't really want to wait on cards that long unless you got like a crazy amount of profit in them bro like if you're getting like a 25 to 30k cool you could wait that long but if it's only like 10 15 even five or something like that i'm not really waiting that long i'm just gonna go ahead and and, and try to quick sell now here we're gonna take this to market square this is very low training values training values to get it most of the training is selling at about 2.5 so this one where oh look at he already sold that quick this demarcus where is probably at that 80k uh let me see he just sold at 95 but i think uh these quick sell values are 33k so we take our 80 thousand and then you know 500 coins and divided by 33k and we get 2.42 cool but his median is 100k so us throwing him up at 100k is a 10k profit i'm going to throw him up at 109 because he only has three on the auction block now if there was a lot more on the auction block we're going to take our 10k and move on to the next one but i do have 2.7 million coins so i'm not worried about him selling uh, i like the way he's looking plus people are buying 93s like crazy for training so while people are buying up the cars for training and somebody buys this car because they want to build or you know make his power his card up or whatnot then they'll spend that extra coins now this one right here is a little bit a little bit over training values a little bit at training values that don't make sense huh over and at but i'm um, i don't like kevin byer's car he doesn't sell much at all so i'm just gonna leave him alone now it, it's decent you could definitely get 69k out of him you could definitely get that but me personally i just i don't like his car it doesn't sell fast enough for me so i'm not gonna go ahead and invest coins and like i said you learn these things when you're sniping these filters over and over and over again you're like okay hold on i didn't have this car i'd have to repost this car two times that's too much and then you buy it again and you say okay was that a fluke no you got to repost them again two times so at that point you're like all right 
no more Kevin Byers or no more X, Y, and Z. And then boom, you understand the market that much more. And then you also understand that some of these cards are worth more than others, depending on abilities, depending on AP, depending on like all this weird stuff that happens in the game. Some of these cards are worth a little bit more like Alex Fenica's like, one of the few left guards that get certain abilities. So you know his Redux is gonna be selling for a decent amount of coins. Now, bro, it's so much to understand, but at the end of the day, in the beginning stages, you could just take the simple buy now prices. I'm also looking at newest, by the way, because when you're looking at newest, you can see all the cards in the filter. If I just look at buy now, I see the cheapest, but just because somebody posts that, like if I was looking at buy now, I wouldn't have been able to see that DeMarcus Ware, you feel me? If I'm looking at buy now, I wouldn't be able to see this Tyree Kill because I'm only seeing what six cards on my first row. I can't see these prices unless I look down and that's gonna take too long. So the highest card I could see is probably what 105 and somebody may, may post this Tyreek Hill at one, let's just say 107. I'm not gonna be able to see that, but it would still be a decent buy for me. So that's why I like to look at newest, but I feel like you only need to look at newest if you're more experienced and you understand how sniping works. If you don't just look at buy now, it's perfectly fine. And I wanna say that DeMarcus Ware is sold already, which is pretty good. We're closing in on 20 minutes and I think we got two decent snipes explaining some of it too. So we're gonna go ahead and look at this. This is good for training. I'm buying that for training if I was getting training, but I'm I'm taking a chill pill on the training varieties for right now. Now he does have a couple on the block. I am gonna take this and just throw them up at 90. Now I'm not, I'm not gonna do nothing. Now that I think about it, I'm glad I didn't take that because I was gonna throw them up at 99K and it would have been only 6K. Now it would have worked as far as like people wanting to buy that car because there was only a couple on the auction block. But at that point, I'm kind of like reaching. And sometimes I do reach for cards. <sighs> Chauncey, 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 Chauncey. I'm going to take them. Like I said, some of these cards. He has a ton of cards, by the way. So obviously, no one's really buying this card unless they're buying it for training. And DeMarcus Ware, I think he sold that quick. You know what I'm saying? So 18K profit just that fast. CJ has a price point. We bought him at 56K. We'll go ahead and throw him up for the quick 70 and get back 63K. And it's only like a 7K profit, but it's okay. He'll sell pretty quickly. He'd be one of the cheaper cars on the auction block. There's only six when I put mine up, so it's good. And y'all seeing that, even, even though we're not making a crazy amount of coins, the cars are selling fast enough to the point where we, if you only have like 200K, they selling fast enough to the point where you can keep flipping through the filters you know what i'm saying you can keep trying to make profit and that's why i enjoy sniper so much because yes uh, you got to understand price points you got to understand hold on this lamar jackson at 102 i don't know if i want to buy him and just 102 is not really good numbers for me right it's not in a grand scheme of things it's not good numbers for me but you see how people putting them up for 130 look 133 the other ones have so uh do i do a 130 i'm gonna do 130 130 with, I'm selling, 130 is 15K. I'm selling, see, this is what happens when you overthink, but I don't snipe AKA, like I don't be getting AKA snipes that much. So I'm kind of like trying to like force myself to buy these cards. Cause I know Tyreek Hill, he'll sell for that 130 or something like that. Man, to let me know, man. Let me know in the comment section down below, how do y'all feel about these videos where it's just like, me explaining stuff and i'm not really editing i don't want to do any editing in this video i kind of want to give you a little raw uncut you know just straight to it so you guys can see like there isn't really any there's no way i can cap you know what i'm saying y'all seeing me buy cars at certain prices y'all see me selling cars at certain prices and i'm not even editing this out now you could buy this car and he would act he probably would actively sell for like 80k which is decent that would have been a nice little 12k because i think he's probably the only one on the auction block for that specific car and sometimes you can kind of make you can make like hasty decisions and if it's only one card on the auction block you can kind of overprice them but you got to understand that some people be seeing that that it's only one card on the auction block and they'll take the card out of their binder and then just sell them for a cheap price and it'll kind of flood you out so if you do that, you got to make sure you buying at the right price. You got to make sure your buy is good. So with, with that card right there, my buy would have been good. I could have put him up for like 85K. And if he didn't sell, then we could have put him up for like 74K. Still make like a smooth 8K on it. Not nothing crazy, but it still would have been some decent profit, man. Like my rule of thumb, if you're going to spend 100K, try to make at least 10. Like that's just how I look at it. If you spend in... 
I don't try to, I, I try not to spend like 60K to make 2K. Like, bro, that's stupid, bro. Like, cause you can go down to 80 through 81s and you can make 2K on a card and spend 1500 coins. So in my head, don't do that. Don't put up 60K to make one to 2K. The reward is not worth it. So if you're going to be buying cars like in this 100K, 150, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Try to stay between like the lowest I go is probably like 7K unless I just like Insta buy something and I would, it, it got priced wrong. You feel me? So like 7K and above, cool, spend 100K. But bruh, you, you're going to you're gonna end up hurting yourself as far as like if your margins are so thin and the prices flip on you, you won't be able to get that card. Off. So prices normally don't flip. The way I try to show people how to snipe, it's kind of hard for a price to flip on you. But if it does happen to flip, I'm giving you enough room that if it flips, you break even or you make a couple thousand coins. I don't normally make a couple thousand coins. It's always good profit for me. For example, I built a Tracy Porter the other day and I think I built him at 400K. I tried to sell him at 600K for like three days straight. He was not selling, the price flipped on me. But because I built him at 400K, I was able to sell him at 500K. So it was still a 50K profit, but if I tried to reach for him and tried to make him at 450K, I would have been breaking even. So with that being said, that's why I tried to get in as cheap as you possibly can with the best margins and not just get in just because it's a card on a block and you're like, yeah, let me make this quick 2K. Like, bro, you're gonna hurt yourself trying to make 2K on a card unless the card's just like, you just know for a fact it's flying. It's just, to me, it's not a good look to be doing that, but everybody is gonna figure out, everybody's gonna snipe the way that they wanna snipe and make coins the way they wanna make coins. I'm just showing you how I've done it. I'm just showing you how I've done it since I've been playing Madden and it's been successful. Outside of training varieties, <laughs> that's like my biggest L that I'd be taking is because I'm just reckless with it and I'll just roll until I can't roll anymore. But the packs are kind of, at this point, training varieties kind of cooled down. So we're just gonna wait until they start heating up again. And we're just gonna get back to the basics where we build a sets, flipping through cars, buying cars. And you can see we haven't bought a card in a little minute, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the profit, the margins that we made so far, it's fine. I'm okay with spending 30 minutes if I'm making 50K. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's 100K an hour. Like, yeah, you can pop a training variety and make 150K, 200K, but, but look though, if you lose 100K, what you gonna do next? You gonna try to pop another variety? No, you gonna be down 100K and you are gonna be like, dang, I don't know what to do next. Woolen, ah, uh, he has a new card. I would go ahead. He's like one of those harvest cards that's Rare, he had a Harvest LTDs. One of those cards you could potentially stick stick up for like 120 and a real deal Seahawks fan would buy. But since he does have a new card, I try not to do that. Any Anybody who got like a new card, I try not to like reach for prices because then they could just buy the newest one. I know you can't buy his, his new card. You have to do the MCS thing. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Me personally, I don't try to do that with cards that already got other cards, so. That's just me. And this William Perry at 71K is looking good, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's a nice little, like, yeah, 90K card. What was that, 81? Uh, let's just rock with him. I'm going to rock with him and go up for, like, 89. And it'll be, like, close to, like, 9, 10K profit. Let's just see what his median is. 74K. But I still think 89 is cool because there's only two up on the auction block. And the next most expensive one is, what, 99 or something like that? So we go for a smooth 89K, it's still good. But worst case scenario, we bought at 71. We put them up at what, 79 and break even. But I still think he'll sell. I'm not like, I know these AKA players just don't fly out of packs. So I know, especially not the 92s. So at the end of the day, I'm good on that one. But once again, the next person might be like, bro, that's stupid. That's a terrible buy. We want this Josh Jacobs at 56. 56 is a little bit too cheap. I seen this man. I mean, even a 77, bro, like that's 14K. You know what I'm saying? Like 77 is cool price for him. 65 is cool. It's cool. You know why? Because we didn't see a ton of these sold at 70K. And that'll put us at what? 60. It'll put us 7,500, 8,000 coins. Something like that. Would have went for a little higher, but 
you know, you know, people, I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. People buying training for whatever reason, whether it's varieties and always when there's AKA, I'm not AKA players, always when there's LTDs and packs, bro, people are going to buy training when there's LTDs and packs. So you don't have to worry about, oh, bro, I don't, I don't want to overprice this car, bro. People are going to buy training. Just trust. And if you don't trust me, just try it. Try it for yourself, man. Try it for yourself and see what happens, bro. Once it gets to a certain point where people have already, especially if it's a car that has stupid hype to it, like, yeah, this man, Vita Vea, don't really have like stupid hype, but if if somebody somebody else, oh, we getting honors tomorrow, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I could be capping, but some something like that, people are gonna be eating up training because they're gonna try their hardest to get those cards. So you can overprice training value cards just to tap it and people will spend a bag on it. But this video has officially hit its 30 minute mark and I don't wanna make this video too long, man. I just wanted to get y'all a nice little feel of how you can make coins now that training varieties are kinda weak. And it's not about building sets. Like, yes, you can build sets and stuff like that, but I wanna show you guys a, like kind of like a skill that you can do at any point in the game. You don't have to wait for a set. You don't have to look for cards to, to put in the set, I should say. Uh, uh, nine. This card normally sells at like 89, bruh. But even at 89, still not that juicy, bruh. Still not that juicy. But yeah, man, you can't expect to make you know 500k on your first day sniping you know what i'm saying like so just just dabble in it take a little small step in it boom make some coins and move on you know what i'm saying this is something that you just want to add to the tool bag just like pro fantasy pro star fantasy packs or something you can add to the tool bag you know what i'm saying when they hot they hot when they cold they cold this when it's when, it, when the mark is hot you can make a bag on this you feel me so like this is something you just need to have in your back pocket when you get banged up on packs uh train of varieties i anything the market crashes you know what i'm saying you understand this concept you'll easily be able to make coins but i'm talking y'all era i hope you guys enjoy it if you want to see more of me man hit the follow button hit the follow button what am i talking about follow me on switch man link is in the description i meant to say hit the subscribe button but i don't say that no more i love you bye